folks, Darnell Mac with Stamps by Kate. So I have one of these big hexagons. This is a two inch hexagon. And here is my ink pad. They are obviously not the same size. Um, that ink pad is relatively small to this hexagon. And I get a lot of these questions. I need a larger ink pad for this. Well, I have tried with the manufacturer and we're unable to get the larger, um, the larger ink pad for this. But really, there are some tricks that you can do to stamping the ink pad. Let me show you what that looks like. Now, in this case, I've got my, my hexagon. Now, this is true whether you're on clear or the rubber stamps. Uh, they both kind of work the same way. I take my ink pad, and I'm going to blot the edges. I'm just going to go around and blot the edges, get the ink on it. Now, you can see I apparently got some ink on the inside of there. Either grab your stamp. I can't even talk, stamp chamois or a microfiber wet cloth, something that is not going to scratch the plastic on these uh, clear photopolymer ones. And just gently wipe the, the inside of that. And then you line up your fabric the way you want to cut, the way you want to stamp it, and just press down. And notice you've got a nice image there. Now, sometimes when I stamp, I sometimes will get some blanks. As long as I've got a start and an end point, I'm good and just, it's like connecting the dots with your needle. Um, when you're ready to go again, just ink your stamp again. And position that over the fabric. You can still see where the solid cut line is. And press down. And there you go. That's all there is to using the stamp. Now I've also seen um, other people use the stamp in their hand and they will do it upside down. And this is where guys just figure out what is comfortable for you to get that ink, the stamp inked up for you to use um, and just go to town with it. Whatever you come up with is the right way for you. Um, generally, you can get a couple of images from the ink pads. It depends upon the color, though. I'm on, directly on white, and so you can see I'm getting two really good images. Now, if you're doing a linen or something like this one, um, it's barely going to do it one time because that linen is so porous, it just soaks in the ink. Now, it still doesn't bleed through whether you're on the white or if you're on the uh, linen. And what's more, you're going to stitch on that dashed line anyway, so that's going to be embedded into the fabric. But it doesn't bleed through. It's permanent. And uh, there you go, folks. Now, when you're done with your stamp, gently clean it off. Blot the ink off. I use a stamp chamois because I use so much. I do recommend them because they are delicate on the stamps if you do them a lot. Otherwise, just take it to the sink and uh, use uh, some Dawn dishwashing liquid is what I use and uh, just clean that stamp up. Um, I hope you enjoy the stamping. I've enjoyed it immensely. I do them by machine and by hand. My hand by hand is my preference, but there's sometimes it, that I just want to sit down with my featherweight or my foff and get after it. Uh, folks, I hope you enjoy um, stamp using these stamps as I have over the years. If you have any questions, just take a look at our website. Uh, we have an email up there. And the email is info at bykate.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day, folks. Bye.